Doolittle Raid, the mission that risked it all and you'll never guess where those bombers actually landed. 16 B-25 bombers taking off from the USS Hornet to strike Tokyo in April of 1942. But there's more to this daring operation than meets the eye. What most people don't talk about is the incredible journey these men had after dropping their bombs over Tokyo. These bombers were never going to make it back to their aircraft carrier. They were supposed to land in China, but things didn't go as planned. Many crews bailed out over China, landing in enemy-occupied or remote areas. They had to rely on Chinese civilians and soldiers to help them make their way to safety, at great cost. The Chinese paid a steep price for their involvement. Japanese forces retaliated, leading to thousands of Chinese deaths. And here's the kicker. One bomber didn't even land in China. Instead, it flew to the Soviet Union, a nation that was neutral in the Pacific conflict. The crew was interned and their bomber confiscated. It's said that the Soviets reverse-engineered the B-25 from this plane, potentially influencing future aircraft designs.